Yo guys, mix to here with another Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade video. So for today's video, we're going to talk about which three of these banners is the worth it to summon on if you're a new player or you want a fresh account and you want to experience the best uh, playthrough as possible with those characters. So first, the Megumi Incomplete Domain. So Megumi Incomplete Domain is a mixed attacker, both physical and Jujutsu type attacks. He has a decent amount of damage. He is also great in the end game for auto farming for materials, resources. But you need to skip him in this exclusive uh, banner for him. Just because in the future you can summon him for the standard banner. So you need to skip him in his uh, limited banner. You can already or you can always uh, summon him for the standard banner in the future so skip him but if you really like that character yeah you can go for it if you really like it or if you want to have the best uh, experience in the story mode or if you want your uh, playthrough to be a lot easier skip him and go for the other character uh, let's talk about that later on so next is ghetto so i got him from the free tickets you can re-roll for him if you want him to be in the uh your lineup but still you need to skip him just because the other character that i'm going to talk to you is the best character in the playthroughs and you need to prioritize him over ghetto and uh, megumi so Ghetto is a blue type character plus he got a lot of decent amount of damage output but still this other character is one of the best characters the best character in your team and in your lineup which is Yuta so Yuta has a lot of damage output raw damage is one of the two characters uh, must have characters you got gojo and yuta so this two or this character is on par of gojo in this game just because you know go gojo is uh leaving every time in the battlefield for seven turns gojo leaving him or leaving the battlefield but Yuta isn't leaving plus his damage output is quite you know one of the best next to Gojo so Yuta the ultimate skill is it's pure love this a thousand range Jujutsu damage to all enemies so it also increases own physical damage by 20% and own Jujutsu damage by 20% so that's the damage output a thousand percent mix attacker again so if you really want your gaming experience or playthrough in Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade to be great and easy or easier um, go for Yuta and uh, skip both of uh, Megumi Incomplete Domain and Ghetto for Yuta but still if you want Ghetto you already got you can get the free 10 per 10% 10 pieces of tickets from the event for new players you can get a Ghetto by re-rolling like I am I got him with the free tickets so I got a Ghetto plus Yuta I also got Nobara from that so if you are planning to uh, have a easier experience in the game in your playthrough go for Yuta especially if you have a lot of copies of him if you enhance him uh, by 2 he will be a great a character the best character if only Gojo isn't if Gojo have, doesn't have that 
a seven a turn leave uh he will be the strongest but for me in this game ayuta is the best character the strongest character here so go for yuta keep both of these characters uh, Megumi can still get him in the standard battle in the future Ghetto you can reroll him if you can if you want Ghetto plus Yuta reroll re and reroll until you get uh, uh, Ghetto in this banner with the 10 free tickets and Yuta here plus if you are going to make another account or a um, new account or you're a player or a new player I uh, just just go for it because tomorrow is the end of this two characters get on Utah the banner of them will expire tomorrow so you need to go for it you need to really a uh, summon for Utah go all out in Utah so I think that's all for the video Peace out.